Attentional Harley-Davidson riders, we heard you, and now we want to welcome you to a new era in EFI tuning. Introducing AutoTune Pro for PowerVision 3. As you know, there's hundreds of variables inside your ECU to make the magic happen. If you get those variables dialed in properly, you'll be rewarded with a bike that is fuel efficient, powerful, and a joy to ride. AutoTune's goal is to ensure the VE tables in your ECU are adjusted correctly. This makes the desired AFR from your tune match the measured AFR coming out of the tailpipe. Both tiers of AutoTune are activated directly on the PowerVision 3 and automate the VE tuning process. The primary difference is that AutoTune Pro uses accessory Wideband O2 sensors found in Dynojet Wideband kits, while AutoTune Basic, free for all users, uses your OEM Narrowband O2 sensors. Wideband O2 sensors can measure AFRs over a much wider range relative to Narrowband O2 sensors. Narrowband O2 sensors are only accurate at or near the stoichiometric point for gas, which is 14.7 AFR. This is typically where your bike will operate during idle, cruise, and light load conditions. If you want accurate fueling control, then you need to measure AFR throughout your bike's entire operating range, hence the need for Wideband O2 sensors. Simply put, AutoTune Pro is your go-to for achieving precise VE tuning at the convenience of your own home. Regardless of the conditions, AutoTune Pro ensures you end up with a tune for your bike with your modifications. To use AutoTune Pro, you'll need to pair it with an AutoTune module that's specifically built for use with the PowerVision 3 for your Harley Davidson. Once you have the PowerVision 3 and AutoTune module installed, you're ready to begin the process. With a few button presses, you can easily enable the AutoTune Pro feature and get your bike's AFR dialed in in no time at all. The tune setup process, logging, and corrections are all handled directly on the PowerVision 3 device. You can leave your computer at home for this one. Once installed, all you have to do is simply ride your bike and allow AutoTune Pro to take data logs. So after you do that a couple times, You should attempt to have a mix of idle, cruise, and wide open throttle operating conditions. This will ensure you have the best coverage for all corrections. Once you've collected a reasonable amount of data, you can allow AutoTune Pro to make the needed corrections. It can flash a new tune after one iteration, or you can continue with the data collection process before flashing the final corrected file. This entire process is easy and beginner friendly. The best part is, is that you'll end up with a smoother running, safe, and powerful motorcycle. And there you have it. Hopefully we didn't make you dizzy with the number of times we said auto-tune. If you want to learn more or have any further questions, we've put together an article on our site that should answer most questions. We're continuously posting new information and educational content on our socials with more to come soon. So until then, stay tuned. Cool. Love it.